I'm out of my head, out of my mind, oh why? If you let me, I'll be out of my dress And into your arms tonight Yeah, I'm lost without it Feels like I'm always waiting I need you to come get me Out of my head, and into your arms tonight Tonight, oh, oh, oh. Good morning, dear students. Dear candidate, here is uh, Moses Bright Online Academic. With the motto, knowledge is the key. Once more again, welcome to GC Advanced Level, presented to you by Sir Moses. Today we are going to focus on Cameroon history, section B, and the topic we shall focus on is Cameroon under the British mandate. And take note that Cameroon under the British mandate about section B is question five. It's question five. So we are going to answer all possible questions under this question five. But not with standard please. If you are new in my channel, please, there's a red button there written subscribe for the those who are in having the YouTube English version. And for those who are having the French YouTube version, there's a word abonnez vous press in that world to subscribe and like my various video not to fix not to miss any other video that will be uploaded thank you uh, moses okay dear candidate today the question here is june 2009 and the question says why and with what consequences britain administer the southern cameroon as part of nigeria i repeat the question again why and with what consequences Britain administered the Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria, this June 2009. Now, the interpretation of the question here, you need to identify the key term that will enable you to start a very good introduction. And the key term here, you have why and with what. So, just from the word why and and, already shows that the question is a two-sided question. When say why, we're talking about the reason. So, our question here will be a two-sided question centered on reason. For British administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria for the first part and the consequence of such administration for the second part. I repeat the interpretation again. A two-sided question centered on reason for British administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria for the first part and consequence of such administration for the second part. Now after identifying the introduction the interpretation of the question we move now to examine the introduction of the question now look at the introduction of this question following the anglo-french partition of cameroon in 1916 britain obtained one fifth of the territory and named it british cameroon when cameroon became a mandated territory of the league of nations on 20th july 1922 britain further partitioned her zone into british northern cameroon and British Southern Cameroon and governed them as part of Northern and Eastern region of Nigeria respectively. So many reasons accounted for the British administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria, but notwithstanding, this equally had far-reaching consequences. That's part of the question. Remember, we said the question was a two-sided question. The question reason for British annexation, British administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Cameroon and the consequences. So the first part of this question, right? First, identify why Britain administered Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria. This was due to the following reason. First, to begin, British Southern Cameroon was too small in size and the population was too scant for the British to establish a separate administration in the area. So it passed 
it was easier for them to administer it as part of Nigeria. Then, also the geographical nature of Southern Cameroon influenced the British to administer it as an integral part of Nigeria. Again, Britain was afraid to rule Southern Cameroon as a single colony because of the high cost of administration. Furthermore, the attachment of Southern Cameroon to Nigeria was influenced by cultural affiliation. In addition, the shortage of personnel influenced the British to administer British Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria. Finally, the British also administered Southern Cameroon as an integral part of Nigeria because she was conscious of the fact that Cameroon was not a British colony. Now, now talking about the second part, remember the first part was the reason why British administered Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria. The second part of this question requests us to identify the consequences. So the administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria could follow consequences. First, the administration of Southern Cameroon as part of Nigeria led to Nigerian domination. The independent process in Southern Cameroon was complicated by the attachment of Southern Cameroon to Nigeria. The boundary dispute between Cameroon and Nigeria resulted from the attachment of Southern Cameroon to Nigeria. The attachment of Southern Cameroon to Nigeria influenced the political evolution of the territory towards independence. The attachment of Southern Cameroon to Nigeria helped Southern Cameroonians to gain professional training. Southward, Southern Cameroonians experienced social and economic backwardness because it was attached to Nigeria. I'm out of my head, out of my mind, oh why? If you let me, I'll be out my dress and into your arms tonight. Yeah, I'm lost without it. Feels like I'm always waiting. I need you to come get me out of my head and into your arms tonight. Tonight, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was there, but I wasn't They never really cared if I wasn't 